Okay, so my name is Alexander and I'm from Ghana and I'm the Secretary General for YGGG, the Youth for Good Governance of Ghana. Now I have this very little message to pass to my Nigerian uh, brothers and sisters. Now because of the situations in Nigeria, with all due respect, no disrespect to anybody, no disrespect to my fellow Nigerians, but I need to say this, I've got to be real as possible. Nigerians must wake up, guys. Everything in Nigeria has collapsed. Everything is completely messed up. Things are gone apart. Everything is in shambles. And I can't even put it in any simplest terms. Guys, Nigeria is too big to be governed by one black man. One black person, a whole country, over 200 million people are being led by one person. And I don't even get it. Now, if I must be real, or if sentiments must come to play, um, I think the president will be favoring his tribe or region or ethnicity, and each minister will be favoring their people over, over what has to be done. And importance is not giving to whom it has to be given to. The right things are not being done. Guys, I don't even understand how there's so much scarcity in a land of plenty. I don't know how come there's not enough for everyone. Meanwhile, there's supposed to be. And people are just hammering everything in one person and the right things are not being done. I don't get it, guys. Nigerians must wake up. Ghana has left you guys behind. And you know what? It's, it's not even supposed to be so. We are supposed to be growing hand in hand. You know how it works? We're supposed to be going hand in hand. But here's the case that we have left you guys behind. And in fact, we're supposed to be borrowing from you guys. But you guys are borrowing from us now. And it's pathetic. How can you borrow from a small land where there's plenty in that land and you guys are taking from us? There's so much scarcity in the midst of plenty. And whenever I think about it, I don't get it. It saddens my heart. It really does. And if I must say, you people were supplying us light in the past. Now, Ghana is building a very big power plant to supply you guys with light. I don't get it. I don't know how it works. I, I'm trying to put two and two together, but it doesn't work. Nigeria is too big, oh guys. It's just too big. The only thing that will save Nigeria is for you guys to allow every region, every tongue, every tribe to go their separate ways. Let everybody govern themselves. Let, guys, 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 you guys need to give Biafra a chance. And this is just what I think. I think this is going to what, it's going to make Nigeria free from everything that's going on right now in that country. You guys must give Biafra a chance. I've said my own.